by your cross you destroy the curse of the tree. By your burial you slay the dominion of death. By your rising you enlighten the human race. O benefactor, Christ our God, glory to you. Nahum chapter 1 verse 3 The Lord is slow to anger but great in power John 8:12 Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness but will have light of life Psalm 56 verse 3 When I am afraid I will trust in you Verse Psalm 7 God, I will pray to the Lord for you Matthew, Matthew 19, 26, 26. With God, with God, all things, all things are possible, are possible. Then three six ten for God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. First, John. Let us pray. Lord of life, submitting to death, you conquered the grave. By being lifted on the cross, you draw all people to you. By being raised from the dead, you restored 
to humanity all that we have lost through sin. Throughout these 50 days of Easter, we proclaim the marvelous mystery of death and resurrection. For all praise is yours, now and throughout eternity. Amen. The reading from Luke chapter 24, verses 13 to 35. Now, that same day, two of them were going to a village called Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem. They were talking with each other about everything that had happened. As they talked and discussed these things with each other, Jesus himself came, came up and walked along with them. But they were kept from rec recognizing him. He asked them, what are you discussing together as you walked along? They stood still, their faces downcast. One of them, named Cleopas, asked him, Are you only a visitor to Jerusalem and do not know the things that have happened there in these days? What things, he asked, about Jesus of Nazareth, they replied. He was a prophet, powerful in word and deeds before God and all the people. The chief priests and our rulers handed him over to, the sent to be sentenced to death, and they crucified him. But we had hoped that he was the one who was going to redeem Israel. And what is more, it is the third day since all this took place. In addition, some of our women amazed us. They went to the tomb early this morning, but didn't find his body. They came and told us that they had seen a vision of, of angels who said he was alive. Then some of our companions went to the tomb and found it just as the woman had said but him he did not see. He said to them, How foolish you are, and how slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Did not the Christ have to suffer these things and then enter his glory? And beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he explained to them what was said in all the scriptures concerning himself. As they approaching the village to which they were going, Jesus acted as if he were going farther. But they urged him strongly, stay with us, for it is nearly evening. The day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them. When he was at the table with them, he took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and began to give it to them. Then their eyes were opened, and they recognized him, and he disappeared from their sight. They asked each other, were not our hearts burning? within us while he talked with us on the road and opened the scripture to us. They got up and returned at once to Jerusalem. There they found the eleven and those with them assembled together and saying, It is true, the Lord has risen and has appeared to Simon. Then the two told what had happened on the way and how Jesus was recognized by them when he broke the bread. The word of the Lord. 
Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Composer Arnel De Palo. 
a COVID-19 survivor. Samantala, ibinahagi rin ng kompositor na hindi naging madali ang kanyang naging gamutan dahil hindi lang coronavirus ang ginamot sa kanya. Meron din siyang hereditary diabetes, hypertension at lung problem. Pinaghuhugutan ng lakas at inaawit ng marami ngayon ng awiting, lead me Lord. Shall we pray? May these words to my mouth and this meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Greetings on this Recognition Sunday Worship. I am going to share with you a simple verse which reads, Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. That's in Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20 of the King James Version. Today is Recognition Sunday. In time when we are experiencing an unprecedented circumstance worldwide brought about by COVID-19. But let, let us continue to rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. In everything, give thanks. Because we all dwell in the secret place of the Most High. We all say to the Lord, You are our refuse. You are our fortress. And in Him we trust. May I therefore invite you to focus our recognition worship to our Almighty God and allow us to let the message of Christ dwell among us as richly as each would teach and admonish one another with all wisdom through psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit, singing to God with gratitude in our hearts. When we look at this scripture, Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20, this is one of the most impossible things in our time because impossibility is nothing more than just a state of our mind. It turns us to move from impossibility to possibility. Look at our children. The students have achieved from the youngest among them in the preschool stage so innocent to just get in the class, play, sing, draw, and other activities. Did we ever think that now they can perform much unexpectedly? So surprising also to hear from your children performances which you as parents didn't seem to believe that they are able to speak, act, and dance confidently and even blog. They are more techy, able to explore various technologies, although we need to guide them especially that what they're exploring are almost the trends of this generation which are sometimes unlikely to be dwelt with by our children. Impossibility is not a declaration. It is a dare. Impossibility is temporary. It is a potential. Things that can be done out of the box. Let us recognize that when God places possibilities in each of us, we know 
that we can be what we want to be. There are big ideas in us, but sometimes we keep allowing our limitations and we hold back instead of making these valuable thoughts keep burning in our bosom. Do we realize that God is looking at us waiting to blow our mind so that we take the limits off. Within last school year, we recall that we had experienced various levels of difficulties, as in our finances for enrollment, their projects, requirements, and other school needs. Likewise, teachers had also their share of hardships, adversities just to make their students learn and cope up with certain standards. Due to our busy schedules and some major concerns, we seem to have been drained, exhausted, and to the extent burned out. Have we thought of taking time alone with God and communicate with Him all our cares? Have we noticed that the Lord has been with us always, right beside us? He has always been longing to build a closer relationship with us, have an intimacy with us, to Him. We claim that we are children of God. We love Him, but do we, as a family, gather and recognize everything that He has done in our lives? ECQ, or Extended Community Quarantine, Lockdown, led us to quit all our forms of worship in this world. Parties, sports, by this, by that, eat outside, beach, travel, whatever. What is now the value of our high positions and salaries? Money in the bank, high grades, promotions, awards, commendations, and the like. Schools just abruptly stop, close, and we are not ready to face a new landscape of education or even homeschooling. Now, unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think. Now, the time when we needed him, he has provided us, not tomorrow, not next week, but now, at the time when we urgently need it, in bad times, especially when we were sick at our most urgent need. He was able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think. God is able to give us His blessings, but we should not go back to what we used to do. I wish there could be many of us who can say that if God has not worked through us, I would not be what I am now. Children, graduates, have we given due recognition to our Lord? We pay tribute to the teachers in schools the parents and guardians at home, and all others who have supported and inspired us. But notice, these are all from God, through the Holy Spirit surrounding us, leading us, guiding, and directing us. In the scripture, Paul said, I am who I am because of the power of God. 
He did not mention the name of the Lord, but he cited God's character. God is able. Now you passed. You were ranked with high honors. You have many awards and medals. You have graduated. Whatever. You have garnered all of this because of the power of God. And this is the first consideration of this verse. We pray for substance. I am going to share to you the three S of this verse. And the first is substance. I wonder how deep is our trust to Him, a way maker, a miracle worker, a wonderful provider. I wonder if we reassured or how we are reassured in difficult times and leaves us when we are weighted down amid the sorrow or worry or suffering we face, which often feels too heavy to bear. How might we take our heart today, this pandemic that the entire world is experiencing? World Health Organization declares a more serious predicament ahead. Protect us, O oh God, for you, in you, we take refuge. If we have not been practicing our trust in God, now is the time to practice full trust to our God, who loves us so much through his death and resurrection. God is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think. This is his substance. The second consideration is superiority. God is sovereign and he can do what he wants to do however he wants to do it. Whomever he wants to do it to. I repeat, God is sovereign and he can do what he wants to do however he wants to do it whomever he wants to do it to. Paul is not acknowledging the who, but about the what. God is truly a mind-blowing God, in the sense that he knows what's in our mind, our plans, our goals, even before we are able to think or do it. He is a mind blowing God. Do you recall? Okay, let's take time to recall. And remind us all that every single person right now who are listening to this, God is superior. We all claim that God is superior. Let us not therefore allow ourselves to control us because we serve the God who is powerful, who is a big, big God, who can control the storms, the storms of our life, and so we be still and the storm subsides, passes away. He is the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, and He created the universe. He is able to do exceeding abundantly above all. And the third consideration is, He is the source. From being the substance to having superiority, this time He is the source. According to the power that worketh in us, He has been working with us, in us, and through us. He provides more essentials, more than necessary. He blesses us and grants us abundance in our life, and yet we still ask for more, more, more. 
How many of us are seeking for His continuous blessing? What if He says the size of our blessing depends upon the size of our worship? Me, I reiterate. What if He says the size of our blessing depends upon the size of our worship. Brothers and sisters, let us give our highest praise and worship. Our walk with our God because God is God. What do we need now? Jesus' death and resurrection is giving us a message of His great, great love for us to seek forgiveness, repent from all our sins and iniquities, and practice the fruits of the Holy Spirit. We bend our knees in prayer and supplication, continually strengthen our faith and claim His promise of salvation as we continue to change our hearts, change our life to a more godly life and process ourselves to a transformed life. Now unto Him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. He is worthy to be praised. Our recognition is due to our Lord, and our thanksgiving be to Him. To Him alone be the glory. Shall we pray? Lord, we delight in your word. We love you, Lord, for you hear our voice. You hear our cry for mercy. Because you turn your ear to us, we will call on you, Jesus. As long as we live, we are experiencing distress. But please, Lord, save us. Amen.
Let us pray for offertory prayer. God of righteousness, God of mercy, we have been called through the apostles to live in reverent fear. Not a fear that immobilizes, but a fear that empowers us because we know how much is at stake. We know there are implications for what we do and what we don't do. Dedicate the gift we give this morning to do the things your heart longs for your church to do. Help our eyes to be open to where you would use us. We pray in the name of risen Savior, Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for viewing. Thank you for joining us with this uh, online service. Nagkap uh, salamat mga kaigsunan. O ginaot nga magkapadayon kita ninyo yung mga buhaton. Hantot nga ang uh, ato ang isip yung magkapadayon. Ato ang pag-ampo, mauta, mahumana ni siya. O ginaot nga uh, makabalik na ta ninyo sa church matag Domingo. O ka uh, nagkapasalamat ko sa bako, sa tanan ng mga naghatay o mga uh, konsumo na mo din ni sa church. Thank you very much. Bikan sa mga bugas, ngayon po sa cash and uh, pork. Salamat po. And also, uh, salamat sa tanan ng mga naghatag sa inyong mga talent. Sa gikan sa mga uh, praise and worship. Ngayon sa ato mga young people, yung mga children, uh, young Christians sa ilahan mga memory verses. O baga, pasalamat ko sa kami sa inyong tanan na naging uban ka na mo sa pag-ampo sa atong uh, 6 o'clock and 9 o'clock in the evening. 6 o'clock in the morning o uh, 9 o'clock in the evening. O uh, kung wala pa'y uh, announcement ng atong uh, city government uh, sa Domingo, ingon inigihapon ang atong pagkabuhatan. 9 o'clock in the morning, uh, magasimba o uh, magakayot usa kita sa panagsimba o bisan para kamuha na sa inyong mga tagsatay sa kapalimalay. Salamat po!
makaputa. Daraygo na gabanan nga ayaw sa laman ini amo kalimbaon bisan pa ra amo mga kaisuunan o na sila sa ilang mga teksa-teksa ng mga panibalay apan bati ihapon na mo ginoo ang amo panaghukbog ang amo panagiusa nga nagaday iyan kani mo ginoo salamat sa mga maayong panlawas salamat sa among mga kinabuhi ug mga pakto nga among ginahutan ginoo bisan pa ini taliwala sa mga hulga sa COVID-19. And Lord God, we pray that you will continue to protect us, continue to keep our good health always. Hilabila gayon sa among mga kaisunan na nasa ilahang mga kaisatag sa kapanimalay. Huwag among ginaampo ko Diyos, hilabila gayon ang among mga elderly na sa ilang katigulangon ito o anaas sila karoon sa ilang mga kaisatagsa ng mga pinayanan o na sila nagpagayon sa pagsimba o pagkalaga ni ang kanilang ginoo. Pananangin ang abong inahan na si Iglesia Sumiliaga. Salamat sa kinabuhi ni Nanay Rosalina Pariaga o ni Nanay Pet Abilera, si Nanay Sara Broa, Apo Alejandra de la Cruz, si Mr. Antigonis Campos, Bonifacia Adansa, Sixta Vitanio, Kilang Pilina Labano, Mrs. Carmen Goh, Ponciano Martin, Pastora Uncalan, and Emerenciana Sanchez. Lord God, we pray for them, for this elderly nga anaa sila karon sa ilang mga tagsa-tagsa ng mga pinayanan. Nagkapasalamat ko sa kami o Diyos sa among mga pregnant women. Salamat Huwag na ikaw magkapadayon sa pagpanalangin sa mga baby na nasa ilahang mga taguan ka. Kang Sister May Ann Palay, kay Perlin Alpetsi, kay Elma Disabelli, Lori Laconico, Tulong Banwa. Lord, thank you na sa ikaw magkapadayon sa pagpanalangin ni ining nga mga inahan na nagkapanampol ni ining nga uh, tapna. And Lord God, we pray and thank you sa bagong nursing mother, si Sister Shirel Milstead. Salamat po Diyos sa iyong kambal sa tuwing na iyong ihakan ka nila ginawa. Thank you for all the blessing and for the protection and safe delivery. And Lord, may kapasalamat kami bisang pa kang Yasmin Magkabo, kang Arby Mariklen, Pero Saula, Johan Montenegro, Cricket Samson, Jeneline Dumala, Marjorie Hameli, Beverly Babaison, Chairman Yusalam, Colleen Narciso, and Precious Baisanel. Lord, continue to bless this, these mothers as they nurse their children. And Lord God, we pray even for all those who need healing. And thank you, Lord God, for continuously giving what they need. Salamat po Diyos sa among mga diabetic patients na ikaw nagpadayon sa pagproteksyon kanila. Huwag nga bisang pa ang among mga cancer survivors. And Lord God, we continue to pray for Brother Paul Smith, for Reverend Jose Gawain, Reverend Bernardo Cardenas, Reverend Noel Miguel, Pili Faina, Cesar Adalsa, Miriam Sagario, Hannah Cantor, Emmanuel Alfisola, Gerald Jen Pakulano, Jay Estrelluso, Rodolf Duen de Ocampo III, Francisco Vilo, Mary Jane Bermudo, Samuel Gatmaitan, Christian Ibaha, Evelyn Alivo, Betty Ang, Ono Santos, Igna Tan, Carmi Oculasia, Pastor Tony Tinio, Mr. and Mrs. Iligio Bodusa, And Lord, we pray for Sister Myrna Marigman and thank you for the healing for him. And Lord, we pray na ikaw magkapadayon sa pag-ikap sa mga talatian ng ining amo ang mga kaisunan. Ila binagayon katong mga naapiktuhan sa COVID-19 o katong mga anaas sa tambalanan na sa hospital ang mga pasyente nila binagay ko Diyos at kung mga adunay COVID. Lord, we pray sa laing mga nasod, ang mga 
uh, mga daghang, mga naapiktuhan, and hilaginagay yun niya sa ilang mga mahal sa kinabuhi nga uh, nagabantay o nagaampok alang kanila. Lord, we pray for all those who are the, uh, who uh, die because of this uh, COVID-19. Ikaw, mga panayon sa paghikap sa ilang mga kinabuhi kino, katong ilang mga mahal sa kinabuhi na naga uh, bangutan ni ina panahon. And Lord, we pray for our strong patience. We pray for our fabulous, for Jose Ricardo, Melvin Sales, Alan Leon Lorain, and Fernando Marquez. Lord, kanimo among binatubyan kini yung mga kinabuhi sa among mga itsoon nga naa sa ilang mga tagsa-tagsa at panimalay ka. Punta mahuman na ang COVID-19. Punta o Diyos kami nagkaampo nga ang desisyon sa among presidente, uh, President Duterte, nga unta bilik, ma, bilik na niya ipadayon kung ikinahanglan ang uh, total lockdown. And Lord, we pray na unta wala na yung mga pagkungkas, unta bilik na mulawig pa ini nga sitwasyon na among uh, na alam ko karon. Kung iyon usap sa kaing mga nasa, Lord, we pray. And even all those frontliners, we pray for uh, Dr. Uh, Jinky. Lord, we pray for all those, the policemen, ang mga military, nga mga gamit karon aron uh, ang mga tao magpuyo sa ilang mga pagsapag sa kapanimatan. And Lord, there is a Davao City. We thank you sa pagpanikamot sa among mayo na unta ini nga mga sakit nga uh, anak karon kanamo dili na unta kini mudaghan ug hinoon uh, mawala na kini ug makabalik na kamo sa uh, makabalik na kami sa among mga tagsatag sa ka mga buluhaton ug sa among mga naandan nga mga uh, activities and lord we pray that even our annual conferences our prayer we pray in kaum ug panalangin kanila ug ikaw maoy makahatagka alam sa pagtaunan ka na. And this is all we pray in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. Amen. And now we receive the power of the Holy Spirit that is being given to us from the Son, Jesus Christ, na diin naghatag siya sa mga uh, disciples sa iyang uh, pagkabanhaw iyon siya dawata ang ang akong espiritu na akong ikahatid ka ninyo o nga kamo mamahimong ako mga saksi kayo sa pinong kalimutan. O nga pinahagi sa Diyos na mahal nga siya nga nahihugma ka na ito magkapabilin nga matimukano o nga kita iyang pagabantayan o nga kita iyang panalitan sa tanang mga kabilingan. O kini ang atong pagadawatong gikan sa mahal sa anak o sa espiritu sa ito karon hangtod sa walay kakapusan. Amen.